Life is definitely not like the movies. On this Thursday's episode of Botched, Dr. Terry Dubrow and Dr. Paul Nassif are very familiar with their patient Tony Katan. You were like the sexiest hood ornament of the single quote 80s, Dr. Dubrow remarked. Celebrity or not, today she's just a woman looking for help with a boob job gone wrong. It wasn't until Tawny was already famous and successful that she decided to get breast implants. It must have been something inside myself when I wasn't feeling secure enough about myself, Tawny explains of her decision to go under the knife. I thought this will take care of the problem. I can't imagine the pressures that Tawny must have been feeling at the height of her career, Dr. Nassif shares. Maybe getting a little enhancement can keep her at that top a little longer, but I've got to tell you, it's a scalpel not a magic wand. Tawny's surgery was not only botched, but it wasn't even what she wanted in the first place. The fifth and sixth is really where it all started going wrong. So when I was under, the doctors took the liberty of putting in the size that they felt was going to suit me, she shared. So I go back to the doctors and say they're too big. They say, great. We'll take them out and make your implants smaller. Within six months, the implants started slipping through the mesh, Tawny revealed. Now the implants are down to the bottom of my rib cage. While it seems like a matter of readjusting the implants, Tawny says she is done with them altogether. She just wants them out, which shocks both doctors. It's unusual for an actress entertainment type person to want to not have implants anymore. Dr. Dabro shared. But after a certain period of time, you're fed up with implants and complications associated with them. So I applaud Tawny for wanting to get rid of them. It's a little bit unusual, but that's what Dr. Dabro and Dr. Nassif do best and Tawny is counting on them. There is truly a lot hanging on this exam. Me getting my life back. Me getting back into life. Me being happy, Tawny shares. If Dr. Dabro throws his hands in the air right now, I'd be absolutely devastated.